I went on a shopping trip. Okay, so the first thing that I picked up was a dental bath, better known as a denture bath, and this is just a few bucks from Walmart. It doesn't have to be fancy, but if you want to be bougie, you can pick up a sonic cleaner, and that'll really clean your dentures. Look it up on Amazon. They've got them on sale there. Um, this denture bath comes with a little tray that you can set your dentures in, because for those of you who don't know, the struggle is real. Dentures are extremely slippery when they're wet. They will pop out of your hands, and you will break them, so this is a nice feature to have. The next thing that I got was some Fixident Extra Hold Powder Adhesive. Um, this is really the only adhesive that I used. I tried the paste and I didn't like the way that it felt. It felt kind of squishy. <laughs> and so the powder is really nice and I swear this bottle will last you forever. There's so much product in here because you really only need to use a tiny bit to secure your dentures. You just put a little bit in there. Um, whoops, I made a mess. <laughs> um, do this over the sink. You just put a little in there and then you tap the excess off and it will coat the top of your denture and you pop it right in your mouth and it will hold pretty much all day. Now the next thing that I got was a toddler toothbrush. Now I know that there's uh, brushes that are especially made for dentures and they come with one larger brush and then a smaller brush on the other side that will get into the smaller crevices but the problem with them is that they are very hardcore they're very abrasive feels like the kind of stuff that you'd scrub your toilet with I mean you don't want to scratch your dentures up and all of that so the toddler brush works really well at getting into those crevices also and it's got soft bristles so as you can see there's problems reaching in there with the regular size toothbrush toddler brush gets right up in there and it's soft and won't damage your dentures Speaking of things that are abrasive to your dentures, I got Sensodyne Pronamel because Sensodyne makes um, toothpaste that is not as abrasive. As you can see, that is the consistency of lotion. So it's very gentle, not only on natural teeth, but on dentures as well. Then I got um, the Polydent uh, tablets. These are the three minute daily cleansers. And I mean, I wouldn't just soak my dentures for three minutes. I'm not quite sure why they advertise that for three minutes because it definitely takes longer to soak your dentures to make sure that you're um, really penetrating into those little microscopic um, scratches and whatnot that collect stains and bacteria. So, but at, at any rate, I mean, it's a good tablet to use. I used this when I had dentures and you just take a tablet out and you put it into the denture bath and put your teeth in there, fill it up with water, close it, and then you would soak it overnight or for the recommended, like, I don't know, six to eight hours is what the dentists recommend to make sure that you're killing all of that odor-causing and stain-causing bacteria. So now we're moving into the implant supplies. These are all of the supplies that I use to keep my current setup clean. Um, I've been using this type of toothbrush for the past couple years. I just really like it. My husband uses it. And you see that on the back? That's to um, scrape your tongue and keep that clean. But that would also be very gentle on your gums. And you know, you're supposed to massage your gums when you lose your teeth because it helps promote blood circulation that keeps your bone and everything, keeps your tissue healthy. So I would recommend this for anybody. Just make sure you get soft bristles. And of course I use Sensodyne on my hybrids as well so it doesn't damage them. Listerine with no alcohol, that's my favorite. And this is the floss that I use to keep um, underneath my hybrids clean. Of course I use a water pick as well, but there's different things that water pick just can't handle. So this has got um, three different parts to it, to the floss. It comes with 50, uh, 50 strings, 50 threads of floss and yeah it's a mess trying to pull one of them out of there I did that <laughs> but there's a part of it that's like regular floss that you would use for your um, natural teeth and then as you go on it gets spongy and that's what's really going to get everything underneath of your hybrids out all of the food particles and whatnot 
And to thread it underneath your hybrid, there is a stiff part that um, makes it easier to thread. And I say easy lightly because it took me a good little while to get the hang of how to use this floss. Like I couldn't get it threaded and it's just because it was awkward and it was something I wasn't used to. But I'm gonna demonstrate how I get the floss under there. If you pay close attention, then you'll see that there, once you thread it through, you have to kind of feel for it with your tongue and then you push the floss up with your tongue and then you pull it out the other side. Now I've mastered this, but it does take some time to get used to it. You can go on Amazon and order threaders, which help you thread the floss underneath there. I've never tried them, but they looked simple and I just wasn't aware of them when I first got my hybrids. So now we're gonna get right into the travel kit. Now, I don't mean travel like I'm going on an airplane and I'm gonna be gone for a while. I mean travel like I'm going to the restaurant and I might end up with a lot of stuff in my teeth and I need to be prepared for that. Um, so these are the different items that I would definitely take with me. Um, the Listerine that I like doesn't come in a travel size like that. Um, so you can actually buy the little scope bottle, it's 99 cents. That plastic bottle is 99 cents and is bigger. So I would just get the scope bottle and put your mouthwash of choice in it. And it fits in this little bag that I got like really nicely. And Fixident original adhesive comes in a travel size, but their powder doesn't. But stay tuned because I have discovered a hack for that. So we're gonna put that in there. And then you definitely want to take this with you because regardless of what people say about your dentures should always fit and they should never be painful, there's going to be times between appointments where they probably are going to hurt a little bit. And it's better to be safe than sorry. So just get you some of that and put in your little kit. Um, these are things that I use for my hybrids. Um, the, I wouldn't recommend these for dentures because it's not really necessary. I mean, I guess if your denture is glued in and you get um, maybe some harder particles like nuts or whatever um, on the edges of your dentures but primarily this is what's called like an interdental brush and you can pick around the edges of the hybrids um, to remove any kind of food particles but it's good to clean next to the implants with them but that thing is wire and it will poke you so bend it in half so that it's not as sharp at the end because it's kind of like a shank and you will injure yourself as I have quite a few times before and you just go around the implants to keep those clean during the day. Throw a couple of those in your little kit. Those are always useful to have. Definitely get you some of these throwaway toothbrushes. They're preloaded with toothpaste. Um, they're excellent. They have like a little pointy tip to them that's plastic and flexible to pick out crazy stuff that ends up between your teeth and it will happen. And this is my favorite part of the video. This is a pretty cool life hack right here. Um, this is a soap container and I have turned this into like a denture emergency kit. You can put this in your desk at work. You can maybe leave it in your car. I'm not sure how the products would hold up in the heat, but you've got your breath strips. You've got your little throwaway toothbrushes. You've got the um, gel for sore gums. And then these two blue things here are pill containers that you can put denture supplies in and dental supplies. That's mouthwash. I don't know about that, but if you want to, go for it. This is my favorite part. That is the Fixident Powder Adhesive. So have you ever thought about how you want to take your adhesive with you, but you don't want to have like a big old bottle of Fixident with you? Well, I fixed that for you. Just put it in a pill container and you can take it with you on the go. Not only is it extremely portable like this, but literally nobody's going to be able like to look at this and tell that this is denture products. So if you leave it at your desk at work, I mean... People would probably think that that was um, something a little bit more questionable than to think it was denture adhesive. So that's a really cool life hack there. And, you know, 
modify this for whatever your situation is. If you have hybrids, just take the denture products out and put your hybrid products in there. So if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you can get these updates straight to your inbox. Follow me on Instagram, Callenjax on Instagram, and stay tuned for the next video, and you guys take care.